Hello everybody and welcome back to Crumbach. So before we move on to April, we need to finish the drilling because otherwise this field is going to be at two different stages, which is no good. Well, I say it's no good. It's not a major problem, but it just makes it look a bit weird. So we need to get this done. And also if we get it done now, we don't incur the daily fee on the drill because I don't think we have any more drilling to do. This should be the final field. And yeah, actually, to be honest, I don't even know what we're doing in April. We're going to have to see. But the grass is going to start to grow. Actually, yeah, fertilising the grass field would be a good thing to do. Eventually, I want to be spreading slurry with our own cow slurry on that field. But obviously this time around, uh, I don't think we're going to be able to. Because we don't have the money for the slurry setup. And we probably don't have enough slurry either. We'll have to see. We'll have to just rest, get into April, and see exactly where we stand with the, with the amount of slurry and storage. But, yeah, chances are we're going to have to go with the granular this time around and yeah it's not just this little plot here we actually do have a strip at the top uh, that needs to be drilled so we'll just do this and then we can move on I have to make sure I empty the drill we don't want to be returning it to the store with our seed and fertilizer in it I'm not trying to be cruel <laughs> to the next people I'm sure they'll love it but yeah we need to make sure we don't waste anything Pretty amazing lighting actually. I love that uh, set of lights on the back of the drill. So good. If it, we probably have more light behind the machine than we do at the front. I guess that's how you want it to be. So yeah, that is gonna conclude our drilling. Where is the end? Just there, okay. Good. Uh, we'll go and empty this in the yard and then we'll take it back to the store. Yeah, pretty sure there isn't anything else. Look at that lovely sunset. Yeah, I think we've done all of the fields. I should confirm this. Uh, for number nine, for number four is the grass field. For number one is done. It does have a strip of potatoes in it, but yeah, we don't have a potato harvester. We'll have to get one, we'll have to get a vintage one. Uh, 45 and 38, so yeah, it's all done. Indeed. Right, let us head back. Oh, the Matty Ferguson is actually still in the grass field. We'll have to return that back to the farm as well. Okay. So, which is my designated fertilizer store? We don't actually have one, I don't think. I think I'm going to put them in here because we've already got some pallets in here. And that could limit the size of machines that we can put into there. And we actually can just go into here and return this from here. So, I'll do that. Annoyingly, I think we did just go over the hour. So, we have incurred an hourly fee, which will not have been cheap. But, yes, at least we've managed to get all the fields done. Right then. That sunset is getting more and more orange. Actually, maybe I shouldn't put the fertilizer right to the back because we might need it in just a minute to do the grass. I suppose we could start off with just a standard slurry spreader and then go with the umbilical one later when we have the money. It would probably be a better idea than buying more granular fertilizer. Whoa! <laughs> right, okay. There we go. So, as I said, we've got the Massey Ferguson still in the field. It doesn't want to be here. So we'll take that back. There goes the last bit of the sunset. Where is the exit? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> I was thinking, just go to the corner. No, there is a gate. It does help if you go through the gate. And I might as well just go to the house, because then we can jump out and we can rest. Don't know if I should keep on the interactive zone markings. I usually turn them off. Well, it has to be off for survival roleplay, for immersion. 
Um, but yeah, I don't know if I should keep them on or off for this series. Maybe just keep them on. What a beautiful day. And quite a bit of progress too. Look at these potatoes. Withered. Ugh, my withered potatoes. So it looks like we're not harvesting the potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course, we do have seasonal growth on, so I completely forgot they would wither. I don't know why. So, yeah, grass. Unless, of course, it's going to say it's ready to cut again, but I'm sure it wouldn't. Would it? No. No. But it's close. One more stage, I think. So, yeah. Um, let's go into the slurry spreaders. Slurry tanks. And we'll see what the best thing to do is right now. The th thing is, with the umbilical system, is we're going to have to buy all of the hoses, the actual reel, and a, a tanker to attach it to. So that's going to be way more than the £53,000 that we currently have. And of course the pump. So I reckon if we can just get something... Like, do they? There must be one just to spread. Yeah, that one. But then that's not very big either. So maybe I'll just go with, for the time being, something. Oh, they're pretty expensive, aren't they? Wow. Well, <laughs> it would work. Starting to think that we should just do granular. How much do we have? 22,000 litres. We have the spreader. Yeah, we're just going to use the spreader. It's just not worth buying something else. We are going to do the slurry, but we might as well build the amount of slurry we have and save up for the setup that I actually want, not just some small setup. Because in the end, that would just cost loads more. And it's only one grass field. So, yeah, this is going to literally take seconds because it is just a massive working width. We should have enough fertilizer already, so we shouldn't even need to spend any more money. So, yeah, just do it. And then I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of this day, or this month, because really everything is just growing now. Um, unless, of course... Uh, did I do chop straw on all those fields? I didn't, did I? Okay, so there is fertilizing to do. Fill number nine. Uh, obviously, fill number four. Uh, 45 has got nothing. That's not good. So yeah, we actually do have three fields to do. Are we set to full width? Yeah, we are. Good. Let's go for it. Oh, I just love that working width. It is so good. <laughs> we are actually just going to be able to go up and down this field. And that'll be everything done. So... Nice, very nice. Well, I made my way to the store um, because we are going to buy one more bag. There we go. Just to make sure we can do this last field. And then, yeah, that'll be everything done again. We'll check up on the cows, make sure they're okay. Uh, I, well, maybe we should give them straw bedding. Uh, that is something which is sort of on my to-do list, which I keep putting off. We would, of course, have to spend more money. Are the indicators still not working? I even assigned them. 
What's up with them? <laughs> well, that is a mystery. Um, yeah, so we might get a bell shredder and go and give the cows some straw bedding. Uh, but then, of course, we're going to produce solid manure as well, which we could possibly sell if there's a sell point, or we could get a muck spreader and use that. Um, I think I would prefer to sell it, really, if there is a sell point. Like the BGA would be a great place. But we'll cross that bridge if and when we get to it. All right. Oh, we're not set to full width, but that's possibly a good thing, because this field isn't quite as big. Quite as wide. We're going to have to reduce the width anyway, actually. So, um, yeah, that's fine. Just up and down. There we go. So, yeah, no point time lapsing that. Just <laughs> get it done. It's one of the rare occasions when I've gone quiet in a video. I know it was only for 10 seconds, but it was still a moment of silence. So, yeah, that must be everything, I guess. That must be, uh, well, that's going to have to be done again, but not in this month. Although, if we're going to progress to the next month in a minute, we might as well keep the strap nearby. No, how did I miss that? I don't know. Oh, well. Um, yeah. So, cows, straw. We've got loads and loads of straw. Uh, so it's just a case of sticking a bale in the shredder, which we are yet to buy, and shredding it, essentially. Oh, look at that. Pretty expensive. Um, <laughs> right. We can afford it. Do I want to buy it? Maybe a modded one would be a better idea. Possibly. I'm just trying to think if there are any uh, modded bale shredders. I've got to have a quick look. Right, well, I have just found the Teagle something or other. <laughs> Let me just quickly check. Uh, into the animal category again. Here it is, the Teagle Telehawk. And this is for the Manitou. Actually, you can fit it to most. That's really nice. I love that. But yeah, we have a Manitou, so that's what it needs to be fitted to. So it needs to be configured as one bale at a time, um, which shouldn't be a problem. We'll take off. Actually, does it come with uh, its own grab? I don't know. Does it come with its own spike? We'll be back here in just a second. Um, I think we actually do have straw bales over at the other farm anyway, but we don't really want them here. So we might as well take one from here first of all, just initially. Well, let's go and pick it up. Trundle over there in our money too. Must be pretty heavy when you have a bale in there. Right, okay. Also a bit of a view blocker. I guess it's not really designed to be transported on the road like this. But we'll do that for the first time anyway. But then after that it will be living at the other farm. But no, it looks like uh, we don't have any way of just sliding out a bale spike. I think there is one in the base game, which does that. So, yeah, unless I've missed it, we'll have to take the bell spike with us. Or we could have the fence tractors load it. Because you put it in there like that. Uh, maybe you could just ram into a bale <laughs> and get it to roll in. That might work. pop this one in over here. No idea how many bells this uh, cow farm is actually going to need, but cows do tend to take quite a lot of everything. At least that's what I found, especially food. <laughs> of course, the expensive stuff. Yeah, they take a lot. But yeah, maybe with the bedding, maybe it won't be too much. But I'm sure it will be. These are big bells too. Hopefully this is capable of shredding such a large bale. Looks like it should be able to. Okay, let's just pull back a bit. There we go. And we can then roll it in. 
how we're going to get the bell spike to the other farm, I don't know. We're probably going to have to come back for it. The best thing to do is just to put both on a flatbed trailer, which uh, we could have done if I hadn't bought the auto stacker instead. Did I buy a flatbed? I did. I brought a low loader, of course. So we could. In fact, we shall. We will put this on the low loader. Should transport easily enough. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. Right, just to get the right control, because I keep opening it. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, and hopefully I can just keep the bell spike on. be fine. Quite a big and long setup for this, but it works. Oh. There we go. Splendid. Okay then, let's go and navigate the road. See if I can get there in one piece. We'll put the beacon on, that should save me. Yeah, I think this is actually one of those sheds which allows you to auto-stack. I think it will auto-stack the barn, won't it, if you put them in that trigger. I just put it here because that's how I unloaded it from the auto-stacker. I don't really know what I prefer. I don't really mind just putting them in the shed like this, but it's a nice feature if that's what it does. Anyway, yeah, let's just uh, take this over here. We'll take the grab off. The spike, sorry. Oh no, that wasn't central. That's not good. Well, we should be able to reconnect. Not too sure which way we need to point this, or in fact if we even do it from in here. Oh, we do. Good. There we go then. Not bad at all. Yeah. <laughs> fire it everywhere. Uh, it was probably a bit too far out the door. And that's probably a bit too much on those tanks. I think I should be firing them that way, but yeah, I should fire it that way. Next time, if, if there is a next time, how quickly is this filling up? Okay, it's going to take quite a lot. It's also not the fastest, I guess, if we paid for a much bigger, more expensive one. It would be a bit faster, but there's no rush. It's got a good range. And also, they don't have to have it filled to the top. It's a big bale. Okay, let's put the next bale in. I will probably time lapse this, and yes, I will come in the other way, or at least reverse in. Or maybe it goes all the way, does it go all the way around? Oh, it does, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I will just do that then, much easier. So, open it up. Which we don't necessarily have to do. It might just drop in anyway.
well, that's pretty good. I think 33,000 litres is probably what we got there. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, it will have been. So we'll keep on top of this, as and when they require it. But it's a nice machine, and it wasn't too expensive, it didn't break the bank. So we'll just put it there, uh, it might have to move, because we'll probably have to bring food in. But, yeah, what we're going to do now is go and do the application of fertiliser in that other field. We're going to have to rest and get into May. So let's just fly through the next night. There we go, another beautiful day. It's springtime now, so nice. I guess it was early spring before. But yeah, it's good just to get the fertilising done and out of the way. Should we go to full width? Oh, yeah, we'll do full width. And yeah, I don't think there was anything else to do with the fertilising, was there? No. It's going to be very tricky to see where we have and haven't been. But I think if I'm just sort of here, roughly, we'll be covering a pretty decent amount. We've covered some ground today though. Getting set up nicely for the summer. There'll be quite a bit of harvesting to do. Okay, let's just make that smaller, there we go. Right. I don't know if I've just messed up there, we'll see. Yeah, I did. Joy. Let's back up. Good. <laughs> yeah, maybe I wasted a bit, but it's fine. The point is, it's going to be done thoroughly, unlike field number nine, where I missed a piece. And there we go. All right, so we'll get this taken back to the farm. And yeah, that is, of course, all of the fertilizing done until we cut the grass again, or until autumn when we're drilling. But yeah, we'll be doing another grass cut, so yeah, the next time we cut the grass. Come on, mighty Matty Ferguson. We'll park it here. So, thank you so much for watching. As you can see, the crops are coming along very nicely. Harvest is really just around the corner. And yeah, until next episode, see you again soon. Bye for now.